Yeah, I've never been to Bridger before, but I've heard a lot about Bridger from my Montana friends, you know, and I had an idea what to expect, but it really just blew away my expectations. It's the real deal. It was really cool to come up here and meet with my friend Bree. She's been living here for eight years. She's a really talented musician and artist, and just an awesome rip and skier, and super passionate about skiing and the outdoors. A huge appeal of skiing Bridger Bowl and living in Bozeman is it's such a short drive. It's beautiful, you're going up Bridger Canyon, the Alpen glow, the whole way up is always unreal. As soon as we showed up, you could tell people were psyched. It was opening day and the energy was super high. Opening day is always special. Just running into all the old friends that I haven't seen in a while. And there's such a strong sense of ski community here. Run into someone I know every lap. Bridger is the most unique mountain that I've ever skied at. You could spend a lifetime figuring out the features and the terrain, and there's always somewhere new to explore. The ridge is definitely the most treasured area of Bridger Bowl. It's a pretty short boot pack to the top, and then once you're up there, you just have access to unlimited terrain. You could explore forever and find new spots. It's just this wall that faces the road. You know, there's chutes and rocks and secret sneak throughs. We ran into Sam Cox, who literally wrote the guidebook about Bridger Bowl. I'm Sam Cox. I grew up here in Bozeman. Been skiing Bridger Bowl since 1986, and actually learned how to ski down in Big Sky before that. So Bridger, it's definitely got an eclectic style because it's uh, it's kind of a melting pot for the entire community. You have huge influx from Montana State University with the students, you got a lot of families, and then you certainly have a lot of folks that have professional careers and get out and skiing on the weekends. Look at Sharpie, Rod. There's a couple hundred folks that are up here most days, and, and they all know each other and interact, and like to ski pow. It's this really steep technical skiing that I love, and it seems to be pretty endless. So we're on the slushman's chair. Uh, we're hanging out in the diagonal shoot right now. It's pretty sweet. A friendly everything. A wonderful big surprise. We just finished up our amazing first day of skiing at Bridger Bowl. I didn't really know what to expect, but um, you just get this wall of amazing steep technical skiing and it blew me away. <laughs> a staple of every good day at Bridger is congregating at the end of the day at the Grizz, running into all of your friends, talking about the day and having a beer. Bridger is a super special place to me. I've got a lot of fond memories of skiing here with my family and, and a lot of really important connections that I have in my life have been based around people that I've met here at the ski hill. And those relationships that I've cultivated at Bridger Bowl. It's really nice to know that places like this exist and I've made tons of new friends and I can't wait to come back year after year.